Hello everybody, tis I the rumpled one. Watched a movie last night called Category 7, The End of the World. It's one of these double feature uh, ones. The other one's 10.5 Apocalypse. I'll probably watch that one tonight. But this Category 7 movie, it predicted Hurricane Sandy. Now, I know you probably think this is a stretch, but it talked about how these two storms were going to link up. And it's really interesting, <laughs> this movie. And once again, it just shows how the government is. Well, of course, FEMA comes to the rescue. They got this, th that part wrong. But uh, Gina Gershon... She gets appointed. She's the new FEMA director, and her dad's a senator. Well, you know, besides the plunging necklines, um, I don't really think the FEMA director is going to be out on the front line saving the world. I mean, it's just not going to happen. You know that. I know that. It's still cold, wet, and rainy out here. And that's why I'm drinking some hot chocolate. Anyway... You got Randy Quaid in here. He's, he's pretty funny. And Shannon Doherty. I, I mean, and Robert Wagner. They, they really picked some good stars for this movie. I think it was one of those made-for-TV movies that comes on one night and finishes up another night. But um, it's just really amazing how well they predicted Hurricane Sandy and the effects. I mean, you see people running in the streets, and the place got flooded, and electrical storms, and power outages, just all the things that, you know, preppers should be aware of and, and, and should come to ex expect in the event of a disaster. I mean, the people weren't prepared. They talked about there was more people than FEMA could handle. Now, the thing about the government... They had some guy who was the head, and he said, uh, FEMA has a new directive. Now we want to protect the government people and the government buildings. We want to make sure the government stays functioning. And basically, you know, to help with we the people. Now, I don't know if that's a stretch or not. I don't think it is based on results but it's just too funny because you would almost think this was a government propaganda piece showing how FEMA saved the day <laughs> you just gotta laugh but I'd say it's definitely worth watching I rented it or got it from the library for free to watch but if I had to spend you know two bucks to rent it three bucks at the video place. I, I wouldn't have been upset. It was a good movie. And just for the laughs at the government. You know, this one guy uh, says that uh, we're not going to tell the people. We're not going to tell them what we need to do. Instead, we're going to do something different. But it was real funny to watch the hurricane suck them right out of the White House. <laughs> Got a good laugh on that one. But there, it just shows how there's always some arrogant and ignorant person in the government in a position of power that'll just mess things up for everybody. Just basically wants to shove his weight around, his ego gets in the way, and just makes a mess of things. That's part of the problem with government today. But anyway, this isn't a political statement as much as it is a uh, movie review. But I do find it very interesting how this movie, and this movie came out in 2005, basically predicted Hurricane Sandy and the effects. So... Category 7, we'll give it two thumbs up.